Hey everybody, this is the new Barton Musical Circuits Voltage Controlled Multiplexer module. Uh, if you're not uh, familiar with a multiplexer, it's just something that takes uh, several inputs and selects them to one output. Uh, they're also sometimes used to take one input to many outputs, but this one is set up for multiple inputs and a single output. And we use voltage control to select which input is going to be set to the output. Um, it has, these are our eight inputs here on the side. These are all DC coupled. Um, and the voltage range is negative 5 volt to plus 5 volts. Uh, then we have a CV input over here for the uh, voltage control. And then down here is our single output, and then this orange wire is a clock input. Uh, and the uh, clock input is normalized to the number one input, so you can use this without an uh, external clock if you're uh, switching between uh, waveforms that, um, like from an oscillator or something. If you were switching between CV sources, you would want to also have an external clock. Um, which you uh, could use your keyboard or sequencer or whatever you're using for your voltage control as a clock source also. Um, and yeah, it has two modes of operation. Uh, right now it is in uh, direct mode. So let me switch this over to the oscilloscope and I'll turn up the volume a little bit. And so just turning the select knob selects which input gets sent to the output. Uh, and it's pretty simple, and then we can use a uh, CV source to uh, set that instead. So we'll just go... Um, and also, I didn't mention this, but these inputs are normalized. So, uh, when nothing's plugged into input 2, input 1 goes straight there. So even though it has 8 inputs, you can use it with just 1 or 2 and uh, not lose any functionality or have it be super awkward or anything like that. Uh, and I'm just powering up my oscillators a minute ago, so I don't know if you heard that tone slightly shift down. That's just from things warming up over here. Um, and then the other mode is a rotating mode. So with this, on each clock input, and actually let me use the internal, let me use input one as the clock instead of this external one. With each clock input, it is going to uh, go up to the next step, and then our select is setting what's the highest step it goes to. So right now, uh, it's just an outputting step one, but as we turn it up, we see it's now outputting uh, two steps of uh, input one and then one step of input two. And so this lets you switch between waveforms and create this kind of uh, composite waveform that's switching back and forth, uh, which that's the main thing I wanted to do when I was designing this. Um, and you can, as you swap your inputs around, you can, uh, so see here I've changed it to all three inputs just being at the front. You can get something like that. Let me uh, see if that's, is that easier to see? I don't know. This thing puts my oscilloscope through its paces. There you go, that lets you see this composite uh, waveform a little bit better. And then uh, here, let's try some external clocking. So with this, the uh, clock signal will be uh, happening at a different time than the, uh, the actual oscillator, so it won't sync up as much as it did a second ago.
Thanks for watching.